Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at practicing the shape of molecules using VSEPR rules. Here are the VSEPR rules. First of all, you take the number of electrons on the central atom. You add on the number of atoms which are attached to it and minus any charge. Take this number and divide it by two and that will give you the number of electron pairs. Electron pairs will have one particular shape. You then need to find out how many non-bonding pairs you have. To do this, take the number of electron pairs and minus how many atoms are attached to the central atom, and this will tell you the number of non-bonding pairs. This will then allow you to work out the shape of the molecule itself. These can be different shapes. Let's first have a look at the common shapes that electron pairs can make. This is for the total number of electron pairs, both bonding and non-bonding. If there are two, then you will have a linear shape. If you have three electron pairs, these make a trigonal planar shape. If you have four, these make a tetrahedral shape. If you have five, this will be trigonal bipyramidal. And if you have six, this will be octahedral. This will be the shape that the electron pairs themselves will make. From this, using the non-bonding pairs, you can then work out what shape the molecule itself will make. Let's have a look at some of the common shapes for molecules. If you have two electron pairs and neither of them are non-bonding, then you will have a linear shape with three atoms in a row. If you have one non-bonding, you'll have a linear shape with two atoms. If you have three electron pairs and none of them are non-bonding, then you'll have a trigonal planar shape for the molecule. However, if one of those is a non-bonding pair, it will be a bent shape. If you have four electron pairs and none of them are non-bonding, then you will make a tetrahedral shape for the molecule. If one of the electron pairs is a non-bonding pair, then you will make a trigonal pyramidal shape. If you have two of the pairs being non-bonding, then you will make a bent shape. This allows the non-bonding pairs which have greater repulsion to be as far apart as possible. If you have five electron pairs and none of them are non-bonding, then you will make a trigonal bipyramidal shape. If one of them is non-bonding, then this will be on the plane in the middle, and this will make a sawhorse shape. If two of them are non-bonding, then you will make a trigonal planar shape for your molecule, as this allows the two non-bonding pairs to be as far apart from each other as possible at 180 degrees. If you have six electron pairs and none of them are non-bonding, then you will have an octahedral shape. For your molecule. If two of them are non-bonding, then you will make a square planar shape for the molecule, as this allows the two non-bonding pairs to be 180 degrees apart. Remember, non-bonding pairs have higher repulsion than bonding pairs of electrons and will need to be as far apart as possible. Let's look at one example. Here we have NH3. There are five electrons on the central atom, nitrogen. There are three atoms attached and there is no charge. This means we have a total number of electrons of eight. If we divide this by two, then we find the number of electron pairs is four. So the shape for the electron pairs will be tetrahedral. If we then minus the number of atoms which is attached, three, then we can find that the number of non-bonding pairs is one. This means that the shape for the molecule will be trigonal pyramidal. This allows a space for the non-bonding pair within the tetrahedral arrangement of the electron pairs. Pause the video now and try these examples.
Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. You can also follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for updates on new videos and flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now!